Welcome to Technologies. I got a message from at Jinmei X and he was saying if I could check out his PC system. I checked out the specs and I thought, let's fix it. So here we are, let's fix his system. So he mentioned he's into web development, graphics design, video editing, 3D stuff, software, Adobe CC, Resolve, Blender. So let's check it out. A system is put together over here, cost $2,681. And there is a few cool things over there, but we're gonna save him some money and build him even better system. Here's what I have put together. First of all, processor choice, very, very good. I can see the 3900X is absolutely fantastic processor for the price, plus you get the cooler with the processor. That is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, no CPU cooler needed. Now, the motherboard he has chosen is MSI MPG B550 Gaming Plus. And uh, we can see it is $150. Uh, he changed that, he had a different one previously, but we're gonna go with a X570 motherboard because more PCIe 4.0 lanes and different things. And I don't think he has even Wi-Fi built in over this one. So for extra about $42, $43, we're gonna get one of the best rated uh, X570 motherboards. I have actually one over here, believe it or not. This one over here. Gaming Plus over here. This one doesn't have the Wi-Fi. Now, if you don't want the Wi-Fi, you can get it about 169. So we're saving around $20 or something like that. But in my case, I don't think this is worth it. This one packs all the features you'll ever need. And you don't want to upgrade your motherboard in the future, but you might want to upgrade your you know, CPU, anything else. So next of all, we can see that he's RAM, he's gone with Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro 32 gigabytes. This is 3200 megahertz RAM and it is CL16 latency. Now, look at this one. We're saving around $30. So we already made some money compared to the motherboard, as you can see. The RAM is exactly the same specs and we have RGB like he wanted. If he doesn't want RGB, right, there is even cheaper option available. This PNY, the same spec RAM, $109, right? You know, RGB doesn't give you anything. So we're going to leave the RGB off, right? Let's take the RGB off. We're going to have even cheaper uh, memory. So to have an, a 64 gigabytes of this memory, look, he's spending around $200. Uh, he's still on $160. Now, let's have a look at storage. So for storage, he has gone with the Samsung EVO 970 500 gigabytes. I didn't change that one because that is quite a good choice. Another choice would be Sabrent Rocket, but according to the pricing, the Sabrent Rocket was a little bit more expensive. But the extra SSD that we have here is you have West, Western Digital Blue, one terabyte, which is $100. I have Team Group, which is fantastic stuff. I'm using a lot of their stuff. Uh, I've used, um, you know, in this Peter making PC that this is recording is just over there at the moment. I've got three team group SSDs and absolutely fantastic. So this one over here, $80. So we're saving another $20 over there, as you can see. And we're not giving away any performance. We're still one terabyte storage and then 500 gigabyte another storage. Video card. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. Okay. So first of all, he has chosen RTX 3070, which is a fantastic card, right? 3070. But I think it's a little bit an odd place. I wouldn't go 3070 at any point because this is into content creation, right? The 3060 Ti is very similar in performance, only maybe 5% slower, but much, much cheaper. As you can see, this over here is uh, MSI GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. This is the Ventus one. This cost $850. This is about double the MSRP or something like that. I wouldn't recommend buying this. We'll all have to wait when they're all in stock. It is going to be much cheaper than $800 and I would go with this one now. The 3070 doesn't have any extra VRAM, so definitely go with this one. Now, if you want to go with the next upgrade from 3060 i would jump to 3080 straight away next up is case now he has chosen the nz xdh 510 atx me tower case and this case is not a very good case in terms of performance it might look good but it's not very good because he doesn't have an aio which means his intake there is no intake at all there is just literally flows from the front maybe a little little intake over there but there's two fans exhausting it from the back i know it looks good but over here you can see two fans in the back there is nothing in the front over there and there is hardly any intake for this to go inside and especially because his uh, cpu is air cooled we want a lot of cool air to be next to the cpu so we can we can blow it out you know in that case we're going with fantex eclipse p 
360A, which is uh, another white case because I can see a white theme over there. And this has already two RGB fans in there. And it costs $2 more. There's loads of airflow from the front. And then you can add two more uh, fans from the back that would be ideal. So you can add fans whenever you get money or whatever, but roughly for the same price, we're getting a much better case in terms of performance. In terms of power supply, he's gone with 750 watt, uh, 80 plus gold, and we wanted to match that 750, 80 plus gold, but I looked at the EVGA Supernova is actually around $12 cheaper. So we're going with that one and we're saving some more money. It all adds up a little bit, a little bit here and there. Now for the monitor, he has gone with the 34 inch panel, which is basically 1080p panel, uh, but it's very, very wide. I would not go with this monitor because first of all, I'm saving around hundred dollars on a monitor and I'm getting a much better spec monitor. I know this is LG monitor, but this is 27 inch, right? It's a little bit smaller, but it's not too much smaller like up, but what we are getting is a much better resolution. So this is a quad HD panel, basically 1440p panel, 27 inch, which is plenty to do all your workflows and things like that. If you're not doing any gaming, I don't see why you want to be it wider, things like that. You might add another panel later, but to save money, we're saving hundred dollars, which is quite a lot. And we're getting a better resolution because if you're doing animation and content creation like that, you want it to be quite crisp. Let's move on. I think monitor, there we go. For keyboard, he's chosen the Corsair K68 RGB. I think he mentioned that he wanted the um, another mechanical keyboard that he couldn't find over there, which was a little bit cheaper. Let me see what it was, the SK64. But do you know what? I'm not a big fan of key, you know, mechanical keyboards. Maybe you are, you know, you, you can get a mechanical keyboard if you want, but Logitech MX keys, looks super smart on your table, cost roughly the same as this one. It looks like he wants to do some gaming as well because a lot of things are gaming oriented over there. And then for a mouse, we have Logitech MX Master compared to Logitech G305 because that one is not very ergonomically good for your hand. This is much more fitted for your hand, the MX Master. So if you're doing a lot of work on your computer, you don't want to get any uh, like wrist pains or any weird angles like that. So let's look at the final price. Here's 2,680 and mine 2400 and it is a better spec system over here this system is going to be even cheaper when the graphics card is going to go down in value and you might want to add a few fans and things over there there we go for 2681 we could probably even add uh, a 3080 in this system over here so that's it if you want to check this system out i'm going to leave the whole system linked in the description below there you go at jinmei x your system's fixed Go and enjoy it. Bye bye. Like the video if you found it helpful. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, you know, bye bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.